Hi everybody, welcome back to our brand new kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. We are so excited because this is something that we have been working on and planning for a really long time and we're not all the way done, but just about. So I wanted to get in here and get baking for spring and give you a really good sourdough recipe that you can make with your discard. So the recipe is lemon poppy seed sourdough muffins. And of course, they're delicious. They're moist and tender. They have ricotta cheese in them, which really helps uh, make them soft. And they're just light and just wonderful. So they've got tons of lemon flavor. If you wanted to learn how to make these, stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and get our dry ingredients whisked together. So in a bowl, you're going to put the flour, the baking soda, salt, baking powder, and your poppy seeds. Just take a whisk and whisk that to incorporate all those ingredients together and then set it aside. Now we'll move on to the wet ingredients. So you will want to use an electric mixer. You can use a stand mixer if that's what you have and you'll want to cream the butter and the sugar together. So once that is nice and fluffy, you're going to add the egg, your sourdough starter discard, your milk, ricotta cheese. That's one of the things that gets, keeps these really moist and soft. Uh, your vanilla extract, and then we're going to zest a lemon. And that is where we're gonna infuse the lemon flavor into this muffin. So you're gonna to want to use one large lemon like I have here, but if you have smaller lemons, go ahead and use the zest of two lemons. But don't throw the lemon away because we're gonna use it for that glaze. So once you get all of those ingredients in the bowl, just use your electric mixer to get those nice and smooth and evenly incorporated. And then we're gonna combine the wet and dry ingredients together. So use a spatula, you can use that electric whisk if you want, I mean an electric hand mixer if you want, or a spatula like I'm doing. And just, you wanna incorporate the wet and dry ingredients together until they're just mixed. You don't wanna over mix the uh, batter because then you'll end up with a more dense, tougher uh, muffin instead of a lighter, you know, moist muffin. So once you get the batter mixed, go ahead and you can go ahead and, and bake these right away, no problem. Uh, I would probably let that batter sit at least, I would say 30 minutes uh, before you put it in the oven. I have found that that does give a better rise, but uh, you can also put this in the fridge and let that batter actually ferment overnight or a day or two before you actually bake it. And I know that's important for some people that have uh, they, they use sourdough because it makes it easier to digest the wheat. So that is definitely an option and that's what we did. We just mixed the batter up, put it in the fridge, and then when we were ready to bake, you just go ahead and you divide it into 12 uh, liners in a baking tin. If you don't want to use liners, just grease the baking tin before you put the batter in. But you don't have to let it come to room temperature. You just put it in right from the fridge and then bake it. So you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And I would start checking it around the 22, 23 minute mark, but uh, until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Now the muffins are delicious just like this and you will still have a lot of lemon flavor, but we can kind of put it over the top a little bit by drizzling this lemon glaze on the top. And it's really easy to make. All you do is you take the lemon juice from the lemon that you zested, and then you add it to some powdered sugar, and then we're gonna add just a little bit of butter. And that's gonna create this kind of thick, delicious lemon glaze that we put on the top. I drizzled the, uh, the glaze on top, but you can actually just take the whole muffin and just kind of dip it into the glaze, you know, and and that way it just be over the whole thing if you want it. So again, that's how easy it is to make these muffins. 
They freeze beautifully. You can just wrap them up, stick them in the freezer, pull one out, let it kind of thaw out at room temperature. It doesn't take that long. And they're just amazing. So I know you're gonna love these and I really hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, bye.